apprehension and the uh, need of the ENPO to give the asking the state government to give the draft proposal. We are sure that the draft proposal may come up very soon. It has been made very evident that the INLU, the Eastern Naga legislators and the Eastern Naga People's Organization should have their primary sitting and on what is possible, what is not possible. What the Eastern people resonate should resonate through its elected members. We have to come to a common ground and talk with them. Obviously, the apprehension and the uh, need of the ENPO to give the asking the state government to give the draft proposal. But the state government has very clearly uh, made it fine. And I think the ENPO's new uh, way of coming and reaching out even to the Honorable Chief Minister, Shane Firio, and also the State Cabinet. And together with the Indian legislators, we are sure that the draft proposal may come up very soon. But it has been made very evident that the Indian, the Eastern Naga legislators, and the Eastern Naga People's Organization should have their primary sitting and on what is possible, what is not possible, because the legislators are the representatives of the ENPO people too. So I think in that way, it will resonate better for the Honorable Chief Minister and the State Cabinet to assert better. The Cabinet, under the Honorable Chief Minister's leadership, from time and time past have always wanted to be inclusive. But what is wanted by the Eastern Naga people? What are their demands and what can be accommodated? What, in what way does the very social and traditional fabric of Nagaland doesn't get you know, diluted by any other agenda? Is the utmost uh, importance given by the Honorable Chief Minister and the State Cabinet. So while doing so, uh, the Cabinet has always stressed upon the Indo leaders and also the ENPO to first of all mitigate their proper understanding and then bring it up. See, to be very honest, what the Eastern people resonate should resonate through its elected members. And that is what, as the cabinet, the honorable chief minister resonates the elected leaders, the uh, thought process of the people. So I think it should come by that way. See, many can oppose, many will accept, many will say no, many will say yes. But as a facilitator, the 60 member legislative assembly led by the Honorable Chief Minister, Shri and all the party men, means irrespective of their parties, have come together. And what is best way to go forward? As a facilitator, the legislators have, uh, the PAC, have asked for a strong leader to be the interlocutor. That doesn't mean that the present interlocutor is not doing right. It only means that a stronger platform of the mandate of uh, the ability to give writ is what is being seen. Now, before Delhi has answered anything, why should we be showing our resentment or calling him or not, asking him or not? We have to come to a common ground and talk with Delhi.